what's up YouTube fam, Brandon Weaver here once again. Today we've got some questions about freezing the bureaus and disputing with the smaller bureaus. We're gonna talk about these smaller bureaus right now. So people are freezing up SageStream, they're freezing up LexisNexis. I had a question about SageStream. They say, hey, okay, I got a question about disputing these hard inquiries. You can freeze up SageStream, CoreLogic. After I freeze SageStream, CoreLogic, do I wait for the response or can I send my 609 letters? Oscar Lopez, thank you so much for commenting. Look, these bureaus like to play games. So, to be on the safest side, you would wait for a response. But I know we don't have time. We ain't got time for that nonsense. So two weeks after sending your freeze letters, you can send your 609 disputes, you can send your hard inquiry dispute letters, and you can see what happens. Typically, you're okay. You get the freeze letter back saying, hey, this is your pin. You keep that pin so you can unfreeze if you need to. All right, now, speaking of these smaller bureaus that verify and you freeze, it says, uh, Mr. Alexander says, hey, you know, I got these big bureaus, I know they sometimes verify with the smaller ones. What do I do? How do I get the negative items off the smaller ones? The Innovuses, the ARS, the Sageshims, the Lexus, Nexus. These guys, you send your 609 dispute letters. They work the same way. They are bureaus under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Everyone should take a look at their Lexus, Nexus. It is open to you guys to get for free, right from Lexus, Nexus, and it's like a big, thick book of all these different addresses and licenses you might have, public records, all sorts of inaccuracies in there I've seen. Personally, I've seen LexisNexis, so take a look, make sure. Now, if you're trying to get your credit straight, you're trying to get it squared away, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications, so when I go live, you can ask your questions, write to me, and you know, you can email me anytime, email me. I love it, I love being able to help you guys out, all right? I get questions often about freeze versus uh, suppression. What's the difference? Look, a suppression is not going to allow people to look at your uh, third parties that look that want to see it for promotional reasons. But the freeze will lock other people out that aren't supposed to be in there to quote unquote verify. LexisNexis has a suppression, okay? People have written in, messaged me, comments of this kind of stuff. I did a suppression, you want to do the freeze, all right? It's a little bit different. We've got those letters for you, 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? If this video helped you out, please give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.